Welcome to AE Trick Club. Have you ever wondered how designers create these boxes with all glows and amazing reflections? Well, in today's video, we're going to cover the trick behind it. This trick is easy, and before we proceed further, I highly suggest you to watch this video until the end. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe. Now, let's begin. All right, so here we are inside the Adobe After Fix, and now let's proceed with making the graph. So what I'm going to do on the first step is that I'm just going to go towards the rectangle tool and let's just set its color to a linear gradient. And then I'm just going to draw a base of a chart like this. Now I'm just going to use the roundness to set it like this. And now we can work on the color. So let's just go towards the color and I'm going to grab the first set of color and I'm going to design a something like, let's say like a bluish chart like this and then I'm just gonna select the second color and let's just get it give it a different shades and now what we can do we can press V and we can just extend it like this so this is going to be the base of the chart that we have in here and now we need to sort of uh, make it even better so what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna go towards the pen tool and I'm going to turn off the fail. I'm going to turn on the stroke and let's set the stroke on four pixels. Let's just give it a color like a green color. And now let's just draw some lines that represents the graph of the chart. So this is going to be the chart. Great. And now let's just change the line cap to round. Okay. This is good. Let's just rename our shapes. This is going to be our base and this is going to be our line and now what we can do is that we can add a deep glow effect and we can reduce the deep glow okay this is good now we need to animate it so we can animate it by using the trim path and let's just turn down the trim path let's just set a keyframe on end and on 20 frames let's just set it on 100 let's just apply the standard easings okay this is great we can extend it a bit this is super great now it is time to customize the base even further so to do that what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to duplicate this one and i'm going to call it um sort of the stroke and let's just turn off the fill and then let's just set the stroke to three pixels and now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to open the trim path again and let's just add a trim path and this time let's just set the trim path to something like here. So this is going to be around the edge and we can play with the offset. This is great. Now, however, as you see, it's a bit rough. So what we can do is that we can go towards the rectangle, rectangle path, and then we can select stroke. And then in taper, we're just going to set the start and end to 50. So this will give us nice shading around our edge. And you can just duplicate it. And then you can play with the offset to set it at the right corners. So I'm just going to set this one to here as well. Also, you can animate it by using the offset value. Okay, so far this is great. Now, let's go for the cherry. So, in order to create that nice glow effect, all you need to do is that you need to create a circle. Let's just set it on white. Something like this. And this is going to be the lights. Okay, now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add the Fastbox Blur. This is really important. Let's just set the blur to 50. And at the end, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to change the mode to classic color dodge. As soon as I do that, you will see that we will have something like this. We can just increase the blur. So now we can get the nice color that we want. So as you see, the color should be on the dark. So you can change it to what color you like. So I'm just going to set it on bright green and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to set a keyframe for position and 
then on four seconds I'm just gonna go something like this also I'm just gonna do it from here so as you see now I have this nice rounded glow for our design so we can just take this style even further you can just go towards the layer styles and you can add an inner glow effect now what you can do is that you can increase the uh, size parameter a bit and let's just set the color from the and let's just set the blend mode from the screen to normal let's just reduce down the opacity a bit so this will give us these 3d nice looking charts that we have in the adobe after effects and i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you so much goodbye